Hello Grace. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I have my blue purse with me. Look at my big blue purse. Now, do I have something in here for you? I might. I have to look and see. Oh, I do have something in here for you. I have a book. The name of this book is Daniel Visits the Library. I found it at the store and I thought, this is a perfect book for Grace because it says ready to read on it, which means pretty soon you're going to be ready to read this book and lots of other books because books are interesting. They tell us things. They can tell us a story or they can just tell us information. Like at school, the books tell us lots of information. Now, let Mima read you this story and you just sit comfortably, nice and straight and tall, and listen. Just like I told your brother, listen with your ears and quiet with the mouth. Listen with your ears, okay? Everyone over here. Daniel visits the library. Hi, neighbor. We're going to the library for story time. This down here is Daniel. This is his daddy. And he says to you, we're going to go to the library for story time. That's what the words say in this book. Every single word says something. And one day, you're going to be able to look at those words and read them and know what they say. You can do that. It's just going to take practice. I'm so excited. Are you? Now the trolley can't go until you're calm, dad, the daddy says. Daniel, you have to calm down. So the, tro the trolley here is like a bus and it can't move, it can't go until you're seated in your seats and you're calm. Because we have to be nice and quiet when we're riding in the car or bus or the trolley. But how can I be calm when I feel so excited? Grace, do you do that sometimes? Do you get so excited that you can't stay calm? What do you do when that happens? We have to think of something to do to calm ourselves down. Well, let's see what the book tells us. Try this with me, says Dad. Oh, I wonder what he's going to tell him to try. Give a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath and let it go. <gasps> wow, let's try that. Give a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath and let it go. <gasps> I think that works. That makes me feel calmer. Does that help you guys out? Grace, did it help you feel calmer? Yes? Good. I feel calmer, Daniel says. So now that he's calm, the trolley can go. Ding, ding. Trolley takes us to the library. Woo-hoo. Hello, says O the owl. The owl's name is O. O. What's your name? Well, my name is O. O? Yes, that's my name. Hmm. That's a different name, isn't it? But the word owl does start with O. See right there? That's the word owl. And it starts with the letter O. So, hoo hoo, hello, says O the owl. That's O down there. At last it is story time. So what happens at story time? Everybody sits down and they must be calm so they can listen to the story. X, the owl, reads a book to us. So we have O, the owl, and we have X, the owl. Two different letters, O and X. Your name starts with G. 
G for Grace. Prince Wednesday hops like a frog. Ribbit, ribbit, he says. Oh no, what is he doing? Acting like a frog during story time? Well, that can't be. No, we're supposed to sit and be calm and listen to the story, aren't we? But he's not being calm. He's hopping around like a frog. Look at him on the floor, hopping around. I cannot hear the story. Story time is a time to be quiet and calm, says X the Owl. Oh, look at Daniel's sad face. I can't hear the story. Mm. And X the Owl says, story time is a time to be calm. Oh, no, but Prince Wednesday's not being calm. Do you know how we can help Prince Wednesday feel calm? <gasps> Daniel has an idea. He says, I know how to be calm because he remembers what his daddy told him to do. Do you remember what it is, Grace? Give a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath. And let it go. That helps us calm down. And that's what the words say. Give a squeeze, nice and slow, take a deep breath, and let it go. And that's what they do. I feel calmer, Prince Wednesday says. We can listen to the story now. X the Owl finishes the story. The end. That's what we say at the end of stories. The end. Story time is over. Now we can go outside and play. Yay, yay. Outside you can play and you can jump around and you can run and you can do all sorts of things outside. But inside the house, sometimes we have to be calm so we don't knock anything over and make a mess or so we don't trip over our dogs or we have to be calm because maybe it gets too loud in the house when we're loud and rambunctious and going all over the place and, you know, being crazy. So what do we, can we do the next time we're all excited and mom says, time to be calm. Children, you can take a squeeze, give yourself a squeeze, nice and slow. Take a deep breath and let it go and calm down. Have you ever wanted to be calm when you were excited? The next time that happens, you know what to do, Daniel says. Ugga mugga, he says at the end. Ugga mugga. That was a nice book. I'm glad I picked it up at the store for you. I don't know who wrote it. But it looks like it says it was adapted by, it says down here, the people that wrote it. I hope you enjoyed that book, and I hope you sat nice and still to listen to it. If you want to hear it again, just play this tape over again, okay? I love you, and goodbye.